Festival Fringe and today I am going to meet two of the circus companies who are up here performing. Company Iatio from Belgium are the Circus Hub from Underbelly with their show All The Fun and Fauna have got their self-titled show Fauna at Assembly Roxy. I am Jordi, I'm the musician. Hi Jordi, the musician. And I'm Rhiannon, one of the acrobats. Hi Rhiannon, acrobat. Yes. Next up, I'm speaking to company Yayo. Yeah. Yeah. Is that how you say it? It's a very complicated name to pronounce. Company. Is that right? Is Fauna the company or the yes. show? Yeah. Both. Both. Yeah. Both. Yes. Cool. Makes it easy. I saw your show, I saw an excerpt of it at Canvas uh, earlier this year and then I saw it again two days ago or I don't know, the time has gone. I don't know. And um, it's like it's just tightened up in that time, hasn't it? And it's got more of a flow to it. Yeah. Um, what are your. Um, what were your main driving factors for creating this show? Well, from the beginning? Yeah. From the beginning, I guess it was just to, to collaborate. I mean, as having live music and having the acrobats. These guys all studied together, so it was kind of um, bringing those two things together and then having an overriding theme that held them together, which for us was the animals, mm -hmm. um, the animalistic characteristics. Um, and yeah, I guess it was just developing. We all had sort of things we all brought together, and, and we wanted to just develop that as a group, yeah. turn it into like a group show rather than just a whole bunch of individual acts. We all also have, like, as acrobats, we all have a similar vocabulary and ways of moving and an interest in a way of performing and expressing our art. So we're lucky that we're a group of real close friends yeah. and we all have similar interests. So. That, one of the main drives was the fact that we are all really close and as well as Jordi, you know, we've worked together in past pieces. We just knew that this collaboration between all of us is like a nice mix to create together. And what really stands out in the show is your um, like really idiosyncratic animal-based <laughs> movements and you're each so individual but you, they're each really detailed and developed and is that, is that a path that came through from your training or is that something you've discovered together since? I mean, a bit of both really, you know, obviously we're using movement qualities that <clears throat> we all feel comfortable with and that feel clear within our bodies, but also collaboratively, you know, in the space and with Geordie kind of playing as we research, we've all developed that together in the same space. Yeah. Character-based research has been really important over the last, we've done a couple of residencies and stuff. Um, I mean, for me, I just play the music, but it's, um, these guys have really worked really, really hard on developing a character and fitting that with other people, and really, um, as well as doing all the crazy acrobatic skills and tricks and things, and trying to really focus on the character. And the music is just not really yeah, it's, it's not so that simple, that. is it? I, I guess you've been involved with the rehearsals and, with them. and, and... We've all been together from the very start, so it's been the six of us, and um, they've kind of written the movement or, or choreographed the movement while I've been sitting in the room writing music and vice versa and, um, and we've all got input into everything so I comment on whenever they do yeah. physical stuff and, um, and they're always coming up to me and uh, I like that or I don't like that or you know, it's very much a collaborative thing. So, so if you had an animal character, what would yours be? I have no idea. We, I, we actually thought about maybe giving me a character at the start of it but then uh, I'm a terrible actor. He's I'm more like, kind of he's more kind of like the god <laughs> in our show. Like he's this uh, mystical kind of person that's creating this world and helping to kind of pull oh, together possibly. all these different characters yeah. in this space. Yeah. So, Because it's the thing that kind of holds it all together. There's no set, it's all very simple. Costumes are very simple. 
the other two are about to move oh. and the music kind of creates that space so that these guys can get in the wall. I did want to ask if you had specific animals that you started from. Ah! This is kind of, you can pinpoint kind of, you can kind of, general yeah. area. I think way. Not yeah. elements from specific animals, but no, no one person has gone, I want to be a tiger, or I want to be, you know, like it's kind of, they've grown out of specific characteristics from specific animals. And from ourselves too, you know, we've identified parts of our personality um, in each other and gone, this is what you're a bit like, and kind of developed on that. But it's nice for us to have that as a thought within our show because we're really trying to focus on the beautiful capabilities of the one moving on corner and humans are out of that. And so, yeah, all those little elements, they come, they, we draw on that. And what's your name? Eric. Hi, Eric. And um, I will say one of the beautiful juggling clubs, which are they really camping? <laughs> they are. Uh, we use the postcard hat, typical pen uh, for uh, street art. We paint them and we did a lot of tries trying to draw smart things or beautiful things, but in the end, it was very much uh, beautiful, much more beautiful to paint them like a kid. Yeah. Kid style. And it's something that really. Like stand up visually when the show starts right yeah. away. Just normally you have uh, any colour costumes yeah. and white juggling props, and you've inverted that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, we decided that everything in the show that was not a juggling prop should be like white or black, but like not colourful. So hence the white costume, white plastic bag, very nude stage. I don't know if that makes sense in English. Uh, yeah. yeah, and <coughs> you've changed quite a lot of um, like conventions about how juggling is traditionally presented on stage and from watching it it looks like it's games, this kind of juggling convention yeah. games that have been developed theatrically? Yeah, no, not only, yeah, but in fact the, the whole show was like the question like oh why do we, in, after 20 years, why do we juggle and why do we enjoy uh, juggling, what do we want to show about it? So. Indeed, we we make like a list at all the things that we enjoyed in juggling, and in this list there were like the games from uh, juggling meetings, very popular meeting from jugglers, not professional, professional. We all meet together, we exchange tricks, and we do some games like who can juggle five balls the longer time or or whatever. So we wanted to to share with the audience this pleasure of having games around juggling, and it felt fun to to come up with new games that did not exist. So we made up to, well, three games for the show. So there is a, this whole part where we, we're, just, we're just showing the game exactly like a football match or a box competition. And hopefully the audience relate to it exactly as they relate to a sport. Like they're, oh, it's going to lose, or oh, it was close, or there is a fault, or whatever. And is, is there any um, fakery choreographed Okay. No, no, I will, I will <laughs> no, explain great. though, I think that I can get into it. It's almost not fake. Everything is really real. There is only one moment which is fake because we have to, for the general logistics of the show, whatever. Why? Because it's way, way more efficient. I mean, for the, sh the purpose of the show, to make it not fake makes it better for the audience because there are some funny stuff happening, magical stuff. Uh, Things that we cannot choreograph for sure, things that we cannot decide or reproduce from one show to another. It's exactly like a football match, it's not fake and that's why it's good. When it's fake, when there is a team obviously trying to lose, or it's, uh, it's not, it's not it's nice to see. Yeah, the reactions of genuine like... Uh, yeah. uh, watching the show, it feels like you've interrogated the reasons why you juggle, yeah. and then found a way of reframing that so it's relevant to like a wider human yeah. activity. Exactly. Why exactly. do we make art? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly the point. I was, uh, during the creation process, I was wondering, but uh, you know the paintings, for example, we know painting has been existed for a thousand years because we have the, the cavemen and all of that. And I was like, what about juggling? We don't have any traces of that, obviously, because it's a living thing. 
So I had no idea how old juggling is and how it used to be and why it, it existed by then. Because obviously painting has existed way before there were museum or whatever. So we, we kind of invented a story. Like We don't know what the story is we, when we can't know what the history of juggling is so far. So we invented it like, oh, let's pretend because it feels true, even, even though it's maybe not. Let's pretend it's like when the cavemen started to have tools, so it's this piece of wood and I cut. They started obviously to have a special relationship with it, so maybe it starts like they take it with a special care. And then maybe they got very, they have a relationship with it. And it's exactly what juggling is, you have a relationship with an object and you know, it, it's, you know exactly what, how it's going to react and all that. So we built up uh, this whole story in our heads and we kind of uh, constructed the show around this. Like, this, uh, oh, the cavemen, they will, of course, uh, carve the piece of wood with which you work. So we're going to decorate our, our clubs. Even though it's plastic and it's industrially processed and all that, we're still going to decorate them. We're going to modify them to make it easier to, to do whatever we do. And we're going to share this with the audience. Like, it's, uh, it's a long story. And it's, yeah, and it's, it's also what art is all about. Like, it's, it's useless and you do it to like, find uh, meaning to life or whatever. You don't know why you do it, but it's still a strong reason for doing it. And how old is the show? The show is two, uh, two years old. Uh, and as every show, it took 20 shows be before it was the show. So. Yeah. And is this your first time in the UK with the show? With this show, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's the first time in the UK. Okay, well, I wish you success. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.